You're the first group of people that are hearing this besides my family. I will be challenging Kirsten Cinema for the United States Senate, and I need all of your support. Welcome back to GMA3. That is Congressman Ruben Gallego from the battleground state of Arizona announcing his 2024 Senate run in a campaign ad that was just released, a race that's likely to pit him against incumbent and Democrat turned independent Senator Kirsten Sinema. And fresh on the heels of his big announcement, we're happy to welcome Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego back to GMA3. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right, so let's talk about this. The let's last talk about time it. you were on last month, <laughs> you said that you wouldn't make an announcement until possibly 2024. Right. It's 2023. What happened? Uh, I, you know, I misspoke. I said I wouldn't make an announcement about 2024. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I, I had a lot on my mind. Last time I was here, I was talking about my future baby. You know, so now we found out it's, it's a girl. Uh, so congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you. We're very excited. Very so excited. what's the plan and, and, and why now? Uh, the plan is to win. And the reason why is because, look, uh, these races are hard. I'm running against somebody that has a lot, a lot of big money support. Uh, and it's not going to be an easy race. But I know when I can get out there early enough, talk to Arizonans, talk to Arizonans about the American dream, the need to preserve the American dream, the need to actually fight for it, and to have someone who cares about that in D.C., that's going to be the winning ticket. That's going to be the winning message. But we need to start now because it's a big state. A lot of our you know, citizens are very busy, and it's going to take me a while to get out there and talk to them, but I'm going to do that. Well, let's talk about this, because Republican, or I mean, Senator Sinema, she's now an independent. I don't think it's that big yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's now an independent. She has not announced whether she's going to seek re-election. Right. Um, so what makes you feel that you're a better candidate for that Senate seat? Look, I think uh, Senator Sinema and I really come from the same background. We come from you know, some pretty hard scrabble uh, beginnings. But when I uh, go to D.C., I think about everyone that got me to where I am. You know, the people that I worked on the cooking lines with, the people I worked in the meatpacking factories with, the carpenters I used to do labor work for. Um, she doesn't. She thinks about, you know, the big hedge fund managers, the big private equity managers. She forgot who she's working for. And she's broken that trust. And I know that I've held that trust. I'm going to continue to hold the trust because I can't change who I am. I'm still the working class boy. Uh, that has always been working hard, and I'm always going to remember that. And I think that's what D.C. needs. People actually remember that the majority of this country works an hourly wage. The majority of this country is one or two paychecks away from being in a very disastrous situation. And we should have members of Congress, Democrats, Republicans, and Independents, that actually remember that when they go to Washington, D.C. Well, Senator Sinema, now an Independent, are you concerned about the Democratic vote being split? No, uh, Senator Sinema, when she left the Democratic Party, she not only left the Democratic Party, but she really abandoned all of Arizonans, right? A lot of the families that had put, helped her get to Congress, a lot of people that had invested time and energy with her, and, and she broke their trust so long ago that I don't think she's going to be able to really have any demographic support. It's not going to be Democrats, Republicans, or Independents. She has no support from anybody. Uh, so at the end of the day, if we run our campaign, we talk about the needs of Arizona, the focus on making sure that every opportunity is given to every Arizona to succeed, we're going to win this race, despite whether she's in this race or not. You talk a lot about the American dream, your campaign ad focused on that, and even sitting here you speak about it. Tell about your own background, sure. growing up, your own story, and how that fits into being in the Senate race. Look, I'm a very lucky man to be born in the United States. My family are, are, are immigrants. My mom's from Colombia, my dad's from Mexico. Uh, and I'm here because, you know, this country has given me every opportunity. Uh, you know, my mom had to raise us, you know, uh, four kids on her own. My first bed in a very long time was my college dorm room bed. I largely slept on the floor or on the couch when my mom wasn't noticing. Uh, if you're Latino, you understand that. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, I worked all my way through high school. You know, when everyone was uh, out at night, I was working, you know, whether I was a line cook or working at the meatpacking factory or being a janitor while still studying, while still helping raise my sisters. And, um, you know, every day was hard. But the one thing that kept going was this hope, this idea that if I worked hard and I believed in myself and I believed in the American dream and I had help from others, I could accomplish what I wanted. The problem we have right now is that there are so many Americans that feel that they've, they're being left behind, that no one really tr believes in them, and that no one's really fighting for them anymore. And when you are uh, in a bad situation, and I've been in a lot of bad situations, whether it's PTSD or, in, or when we were very uh, poor back in the day, what you really need is hope in your life. Uh, and sometimes it takes a politician to actually bring that hope. Politicians like Kirsten Cinema have been taking that away for the last couple of years. Uh, and we really need to have someone that actually brings that fight and that willingness to fight for people's lives, for their experience, for just the sheer idea of hope uh, into Washington, D.C. 
Congressman Gallego, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. And also, again, a big congrats thank you. on your baby girl on the way. Thank you so much. That's a big congratulations. Mm -hmm. big, thank you. Very scary times. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be busy. Yes. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.